ሰላም ጤና ይስጥልኝ ውድ የኢትዮ ተከታታዮች ግድ ኢቪኒንግ ኪሪዝማ ዩቲዩብ ቻናል this is ada nazaro the time is what we memorized the path of adwa adwa the battle of adwa had the following consequences the adwa victory led to a change of government in italy prime minister francisco crispi resigned due to public protest and failure of his colonial policy negotiations between the two countries resulted in the disawa treaty one of its key components was the unconditional acceptance of ethiopian independence and sovereignty the adwa victory guaranteed the political independence of ethiopia and dignity of black people all over the world major colonial powers including italy recognize the independence of ethiopia european legation legation were opened in the capital addis ababa among the prisoners 800 tigrian askari were subject to the punishment of having their right hands and left feet ambited for this this loyalty in addition over 11000 rifles and most of the italian's heavy equipment was lost and captured by many leaks falls ethiopian force suffered approximately 7000 killed and 10000 wounded in the battle The Battle of Adwa March 1 1896 military clash at Adwa in north central Ethiopia between the Ethiopian army of Imperial Minilik II and Italian forces The Ethiopian army's victory checked Italy's attempt to build an empire in Africa The victory had further significance for being the first crushing defeat of european power by african forces during the colonial era In Ethiopia today few figures are revered as Menelik II 1844 1913 the second to last ranking monarchy of Ethiopia like Menelik the first of the 10th century BC the legendary son of King Solomon from whom he took his legal name Menelik II trust his descent to the Solomon line of kings that it is his role in the history of Ethiopia third which many like the second is most river to this day for it was he who defeat european nation italy one of the field of battle to defeat ethiopian independence many like the second was crowned king of king and emperor of ethiopia on november 3 1889 with the additional royal sobriquet of the conquering lion of the tribe of judah the coronation which took place in the great intoto mariam church in addis ababa was 
captured for posterity by the Italian artist Pio Giussi, 1843 up to 1921, and subsequently reproduced in the Carmonographi image, today exceedingly rare. In the painting below, the artist depicted the entire royal in cage in gorgeous color and detail on the left and right was seen. The year 1896 was a crucial year for Europe as a whole and for Italy in particular. In that year, Italy was defeated by Ethiopia at the Battle of Vadoa, signaling the end of the might is right, era summed by the European powers of the day. The defeat of the Italian was a major blow to the industrial world because it heralded the beginning of resistance against the industrial power in the struggle for independence by the colonized African nations. In the painting shown here, Seth George appears as the very apex reference to the proverbial Ethiopian belief that the Italian were defeated thanks to divine intervention. The drums used to herald the coronations of the king of king here became the battle drum that reverberates through the hills of the Doha, shocking the moral of the enemy. Not surprisingly, some European artists rushed to the defense of colonialism. French artist Charles Landré painted the caricature of Minilik that was seen above. At the top right, the artist wrote, The bevelant Nugus, king of the king, takes advantage of victory, but he never abuses it. The underlying message, of course, is that the beastly and barbarian king is king to shame Europe. That's Italy, he represented by the helpless naked woman. In the aftermath of the war, Pope Leo V's eighth story and King Minilik exchanged letters to effect the realize of Italy and prisoner of war. And the victim turned to the church of Alexander for help with mediation. Trade cards of the day reflect current events in brightly colored images. Here we see Mosinger Michael of the Vector of Egyptian Coptic Church approaching Imperial Minilik on behalf of the Pope of Rome. Prudent example of religious diplomacy since the King of Kings and Mosconor Miracle Bolts belong to Orthodox faiths.